Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. So this is a new type of video. Um, I'm gonna start vlogging on special occasions. I mean, it's more, it's more like a vlogging, like food vlogging. That's just mind vlog. I mean, I'm going to London tomorrow morning, first thing, and I'm gonna be recording everything I eat, uh, all the foodie places I go to, all the foodie persons I meet, and you are gonna be part of it. Salut, good morning, it's actually um, 6 a.m. and 15 minutes. I'm still in Paris, and for the record, I did not eat anything yet. Uh, I need to take a Uber to go to the train station to take the Eurostar to London. So a quick information guys, I will be there at my desk editing the video as you're watching it. I was just a bit shy to speak loudly in the street, but do not worry, because uh, at the end of this vlog, I was shouting literally, like a fisherman in the street. And I need food, so let's review the options we have. English tea and what cannot be called a croissant. I mean, it tastes like cardboard and it looks like... It looks like a croissant. I still find it uh, shameful that Eurostar is serving like a lousy croissant and an average tea. It's just the worst memory ever. So the Eurostar is the train that goes from Paris, France to London. UK. It's very convenient. It seems that it lasts just a bit longer than the, the plane, but in fact it's shorter because you go from center city to center city. And no, this video is not sponsored by Eurostar, although I wish it was. The bar is open in coach number 8. Our colleagues Marina and Francois are looking forward to serving you. All that remains is for me to wish you a very pleasant journey. So the reason why I'm smiling is that the guy just speaks as good English as I do. I'm gonna start. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. I'm having those chocolate biscuits instead, which are really amazing. It's filled up with um, salted butter caramel. We just arrived in London St. Pancras and quite surprisingly the weather is neither uh, dreadful nor wet but dry and sunny. So I am in King's Cross St. Pancras which is the international station and I'm going to Oxford Circus in the very center of London. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. Right, so it's 9.30, I just arrived in Oxford Street. I have a meeting at 11, but I need to find some hot beverage like tea or maybe coffee. I'm not a big fan of coffee, but still, I need to wake up badly and some good nosh. I feel like you never find good restaurants on bigger alleys. I mean, you, you, you could, but you're most likely to find little gems in small streets. Guys, I just stopped for a moment because I found this place and it's absolutely stunning. And I'm the captain of this crash boat. So when it's time to sink and swim, I always choose to do the back flow. I know that not a lot of humans are as sharp as I am. My modesty is my greatest quality. Avocado, scramble eggs, sweet potato chips, salad and beet shoots. So overall, I would say that this place is cool. Visually, it's like 8 out of 10. But the food is like more like 5 or 6 out of 10. And now tell me there is no sun in London. So right after this cafe, I'm going to uh, a meeting where I have to do a screen test. So it's some kind of a casting for regular TV. Everything is really, really secret for the moment, but I'll catch you just afterwards.
So I just got out of this uh, screen test. It was funny. I have no expectations whatsoever and that's the best mood you can be in. Okay, so now we need to go and catch uh, a few ingredients. I'm baking stuff actually in, in uh, Jamie Oliver's studio this afternoon. Fox Sports. Uh, and we I'm should go to Angels. Right, so I just arrived in Angel Station. Uh, it's a nice place. I've got things to shoot afterward, things to film, recipes to make. But first, and I know you're gonna smile, I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna look on my phone for a nice place. So I'm not paying to make those food reviews and I think it's better this way, otherwise I'd love to get invited. It's the price of independency. This is a super apple. So you see, I just ordered this Chilango burrito, which looks very nice. Uh, the thing is, it's not always only about the food. It's about the whole experience. Just find a nice place. And even if you have simple food, it's gonna taste better. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. All right, yeah, let's do that again. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'm a girl. It's a very tasty sandwich. Very soft, very creamy. I got a very good feeling about it, very fresh. The pieces of raw onion. It's bringing some nice pungency to the sandwich. It's, it's getting a bit wild. Uh, it was dripping, which is a problem for my trousers, but not a problem for the sandwich. I guess this place is beautiful, even though I'm roasting like a chicken in the oven. <laughs> chicken, the French chicken in the oven. Uh, but I think I gotta go because I'm just a bit late for my cooking session. Let's go inside this white rose. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. So I've got everything I need, maybe a bit too much. Getting really, really close to Jamie Oliver's food to kitchen. Precise location remains top secret. I'm gonna turn it off right now. And I'm gonna turn it on back when I'm inside. Chetna, ah, how are you? Hello. So in the FoodTube kitchen, I met Chetna Makan, who is, uh, on top of being one of my friends, a great baker from the great British Bake Off, as you do. And together we made two recipes, one for my channel, one for her channel. You are gonna watch those recipes very soon, but for the moment, let's skip this and watch the end. We just finished cooking, so this is what we made. This is the lovely Mark who, sh who uh, was operating this whole story, right. and this is Chetna Makan who did those lovely sweets, but don't watch them too much, because you're gonna see the whole recipe on your channel. It's time to go uh, to the hotel now, just put down my stuff, uh, get a shower, get ready, and go out. <laughs> Seven p.m. and I'm supposed to meet someone at 8 p.m. on the other side of the city but it's worth it because we're gonna have a few beers and this guy is just the right guy when it comes to beers. Let's get showered and get dressed. Other side of the city for me is like three stations away. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. All right, yeah, let's do that again. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it 
back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show. Fresh guy cooking. How are you? Good. Hello, how are you? Joined by the amazing Johnny, which is my friend, and also a great expert when it comes to beer. Right. I'm I'm very well practiced, yeah. Yeah, so what what is this pub? Uh, this, is, this is one of my favourite locals. Uh, it sprung up pretty recently, not a lot of people know about it, but they do amazing craft beer, about eight taps, loads of great stuff uh, in the fridge from all over the UK. Uh, and they have a pub quiz, they have a menu that changes every three months with a new chef. It's such a cool little place. Let me follow you inside, okay? okay. Come with me. Yeah. So what did you get? Uh, so I've, I've got two two of the country's best IPAs. Yes. So you can try a bit of each. Uh, yes. And then another penny lane for Heather. So that night, Johnny, Salut. Ether, Salut. and I participated in a great British institution. The quiz. I guess we did good, maybe not the best, but still we managed to get a few free shots. Mm, and that is very good for this episode, but maybe not. For the next one. It was an amazing experience. I've had so many ales, uh, so many uh, IPAs, maybe too many. You should definitely check that pub. You should also check out Johnny's channel, which has some lovely uh, advices about those craft beer scenes in London, which is buzzing. Okay, I'm tired, let's go back to the hotel. But if that catch is too small, I'm gonna throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. I've done a lot. So I'm heading back to my hotel now, which is in King's Cross. Problem is that I had a few pints, which is cool, but now I am hungry, like properly hungry. So I don't know exactly how to deal with it. I don't want to go to a fast food. I could. As soon as I got those out of the supermarket, I wasn't hungry anymore. Or maybe it was just because of the booze or whatever. Oh, shut up. It was the booze speaking. Period. And that concludes our first vlogging experience ever and also the first day in London. Guys, if you did like it, I know there is so much room for improvement, but however, give it a like, thumbs up and share that over your social media. Also, please comment this with your favorite foodie place in London. Last people click subscribe because day two. Bye bye, salut!